all right you guys what's going on welcome back to another video today we are going to be going over a few tips to help you improve your gameplay and outplay your opponents in apex legends let's go all right so first thing is um button layout you want to have something that feels very comfortable for you now for me i use a scuff controller so um this this is a little easier to manage i will use claw to like switch my weapons and uh reload sometimes if i need to but other than that, I, use, I really use the back buttons to jump and uh, jump and crouch and stuff and slide. And then I have my aim down sight, attack buttons on the bumpers, and my attack abilities on R2, pings on L2. Everything else is really default except for... Alright, now we will be going over my ALC sensitivity later. But for right now, um, I want to show you guys a few um, movement movement techniques that uh, could help you guys out in your, in your gameplay. Alright, so starting up. I know you guys have probably seen this before, super jumping. Now, before you click off the video, this is on console. I'm on console, you guys. And let me show you a, a, a clip of me super jumping real quick. Do you see that? Yes, it's possible. <clears throat> so, well, I am going to be showing you guys how to do it. Right now. Alright, you ready? Y'all saw that? <laughs> First try, too, baby. Alright, so what you're going to want to do, square, and then press the jump button twice. Um, it, it works, it works. Uh, it's more of a timing thing. Hold on. It has to be like a a code, like a smooth. I get a square jump, jump. Like it's gotta be quick. You're not trying to spam it. Just square jump, jump. Now it will take some time to master, and I will admit I haven't really mastered it myself. But, but that is how you super jump on console. Strafe or something? Tap strafe? It's like a little direction change, like. Or something like that. Hold on. It really throws your opponents off if you do it right. Hold on. Uh, nope. I. There you go. So sometimes, whenever you do that, they'll be aiming like right there, and then they won't expect you to move that way. Now their aim assist will get carried into you a little bit, but it'll be it'll be very slightly. Um, I'm not trying to brag or anything. I'm just, I'm just trying. I'm just pointing out that whenever the PC aim assist option came in a season nine collection event, I, I I turned that on and I didn't stop using it for a while. Now, um, it did take me like three weeks to get used to, but after that, I started frying. I think I got a 15 kill game and broke my kill record with PC aim assist. And I think Moose, he's over here playing, getting some. Good games without name assist. I'll put the link in the description. It was like it was like seven months ago, but y'all he played without name assist for five months. I cannot imagine the struggle, the the frustration. But anyway, back to the video. So all you're really gonna be doing is it's like a little tap strafe. And you don't gotta do all this with your camera. Just just uh, change direction. Your enemy won't expect it. Um, I'm gonna try to get a little clip right here. <clears throat> All right, so what what do you think? Uh, oh, I, I, I can't hear you. So, uh, all right, leave uh, just leave it in the comments, please. All right, um, last, I don't think this is the last tip, but um, another thing, an another tip we're gonna go over is good crosshair placement. Like, say you're doing this stuff. Alright, hold on. I don't think I, you guys can hear me over the uh, sound effects. So we're just going to turn this bad boy down. Um, um. Alright. So, um, another tip we can go over is good crosshair placement. Say so you shoot that guy and immediately switch over to this guy. It's something like uh, pro. You, you, you can see a lot of pros in, in like, probably tournaments or pubs when they're messing around or even ranked. They have really good crosshair placement. And I think it's something that... Um, 
you guys can practice. But of course, it'll be hard to do if you don't know or you don't feel uh, like comfortable with your apex settings, your sensitivity. Sorry. If that doesn't feel comfortable, then uh, you won't be able to do this, or at least it'll be harder. And take longer. It'll take longer to get used to. So, all right. So here are my ALC settings. Um, and yes, I've been. Um, okay. So dead zones at five percent. Out of threshold at two percent. Response curves at three. Paroptic settings are off. Gauss speeds at three forty. Pitch speeds two fifty. Everything else is zero. ADS gauss speed one twenty. ADS pitch speed eighty five. Everything else is zero. And then I practice with aim assist off. But whenever I turn it on, I'll use I'll I'll uh, normally play with um, console aim assist, but um, occasionally I'll switch to PC aim assist, or like say I leave it on there while I'm practicing in the firing range, I'll just use it for the rest of the game and then turn it on afterwards. This last thing we're about to go over, it's um not really a tip, just more like um advice to like to help you get better with, like with your wall jumps and stuff. I can't really give you like a shortcut to get uh, good at that quicker because um, all I can say is just you got to do it practice makes improvement and um, the more you do it um, the better you get at it it's it kind of like driving like you, you ever drive on those roads where um, it's like only two lanes and the roads like really short and you're like really close to the cars that are coming your way like you feel like they get like hit the mirror off of your off of your door whatever wherever it's attached to well yeah like um the more you drive the more you get used to that your brain just like creates a gauge for like how close you can get to someone before you crash or hit hit them and uh, since i've just been doing this for a long time this is easy it's easy to do no i it, it's not like perfect every single time but they're easy to do and it's not because I have a scuff controller. I could do it even before I got my scuff controllers because I felt comfortable with my button layout. Like I had my jump on like the L2, R2 or the bumpers or something. I, I can't even remember. But yeah, you guys, um, practice makes improvement. The more you practice, the better you get. And um, hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace out. But yeah, practice, practice makes improvement, and um, yeah, just practice your wall jumps, your movement, and everything. Don't forget the super gliding, um, good crosshair placement. Um, another way you can practice that is doing this. It's like your own little aim labs. There's no console player, but we don't have like no, uh, we don't have any like aiming software, aim practice software. So, this is how we can get that. Of course, I do need to practice too, but yeah. Alright, but with uh, that being said, I hope you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.